heavyweight championship fight between Francis Ngannou and the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Adesanya is 31, Ngannou is 33. He weighed in at 250 pounds even. He will have a three inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's for the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of. 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator and God. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. If you hate 
to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful hook. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the predator, Francis Ngannou. Come on, buddy. You don't know when that leg can come. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the goal. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down, though. Trying to establish that jab once again. Just over three minutes to go. Just missed with that right hand. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Got clip with the right hand. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Try to establish that jab. No! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Under a minute now to go. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Got the single collar tie. Ngannou's shot there is blocked. He saw it every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ten seconds to go in round one. Predator gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-twos. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be ending. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath, right? right? You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to finish a fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. All right, so 43 total strikes have landed for Israel out of sight. Well, and in terms of the efficiency on the feet, landing with 36% accuracy here thus far against Francis Ngannou. Outstanding kick there by Ngannou. Man, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, and there's a 
kick now to the body. That one blocked by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Throwing that jab, no good. And he goes. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Big kick lands. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round Whoa. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Knee to the body. Nice kick. Oh, uh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by and got him. Ten minutes in the books. Well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. 66 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Well, in terms of the accuracy rate, not great. 38% thus far against Francis Ngannou. Oh! Serve him up. Go get him. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body. Oh! oh what a sweep. Back to the feet. Straight right hand now just misses. Ooh. Big knee. He hurt him. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Oh. Back to the feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice punch by Adesanya. Punch to the body is blocked. Oh! Wow! Wow! It's over! It's over! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. 
All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 31 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout.